Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Most refrigerator repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, you should unplug the power cord. To replace any of the door handles on the appliance, use a 3 32nd inch Allen wrench to loosen the two set screws securing the handle. With the screws loosened, you can lift the handle off of the mounting studs or plates. When reinstalling or replacing a refrigerator door handle, align it on the mounting studs with the set screws facing inward. The freezer drawer handle should be aligned on the mounting plates with the set screws facing downward. Tighten the set screws to secure. To uninstall the dispenser control panel, use a Phillips head screwdriver or a number two square drive bit to unthread the two screws securing the dispenser's lower trim. Next, remove the screws securing the bottom of the control panel. You can now pull the panel out from the bottom to detach. Note the orientation of the wires connected to the panel, then disconnect them. If you need to replace the dispenser module, first unthread the mounting screws. Release the water tube from the retaining clips and the guide holes and you can remove the module. Install the new dispenser module by first inserting the water tube through the guide holes, then secure it in the retaining clips. Fully position the module, then thread and tighten the screws to secure. Reconnect the wires to the appropriate terminals on the control panel. Insert the mounting tabs into the slots in the upper housing and push the panel into place. Replace the screws to secure. Realign the lower trim and secure it with the screws. To remove a refrigerator door, use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the appropriate hinge cover. Lift off the cover. To fully remove the left side door, use a small wrench to depress the locking ring to release the white water dispenser tube from the coupler. Unthread the screw to release the tube retainer. Detach the tube cover as well. Pull the water supply tube out of the channel. Disconnect the wire connector or connectors and unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. Support the door and use a 3 8 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the hinge plate. Unhook the wires from the retaining clip and detach the hinge plate. You can now lift the door off of the lower hinge cam. 
Before you reinstall the door, you may want to rotate the adjuster to lower the cam to the lowest position to allow the ice chute in the door to clear the ice bucket when repositioning the left side door. Now align the door on the lower hinge cam. Support the door as you realign the hinge plate and secure it with the screws. Connect the wire connector or connectors and secure the grounding wire with the screw. Make sure the wires are secured under the retaining clip. If applicable, feed the water supply tube through the channel. Replace the hinge cover and secure it with the screws. The longer screw goes in the rear. Fully insert the water supply tube in the coupler if required. Align the tubes in the retainer and secure the retainer to the rear panel with the screw. Replace the tube cover and rethread the screw to secure. You can now rotate the lower cam adjuster to fully level the door. To uninstall the ice maker and auger motor assembly, fully remove the ice bucket. Use a Phillips head screwdriver or a number two square drive bit to unthread the screws to release the ice maker's front cover. Using the quarter inch socket or nut driver, unthread the screws securing the wire harness cover. Remove the cover. Disconnect the wire connectors. Pull the ice maker forward to detach. Next, remove the shelving adjacent to the ice maker. Now unthread the three mounting screws securing the ice maker housing. Remove the housing and set it aside. Move the ice maker out of the way. Now unthread the screws securing the auger motor housing to the rear panel. Depress the tabs to release the wire connector and you can fully remove the auger motor assembly and ice maker. Reinstall the auger motor assembly and ice maker by first reconnecting the wire connector. Next, reposition the auger motor housing and secure it to the rear panel with the screws. Reinstall the ice maker housing by first inserting the ice maker through the rear. Then feed the wires through the hole at the top. Fully position the housing and secure it with the mounting screws. Replace the shelving. 
realign the ice maker on the mounting studs and push back until the ice maker locks into place. Connect the wire connectors. Realign the wire harness cover and secure it with the screw. Reposition the front cover then re-thread and tighten the screws to secure. Replace the ice bucket. To reach the damper control, pull the deli drawer out, lift up, and fully remove. Next, pull both crisper drawers out and lift up to detach them from the tracks. Carefully remove the lower glass shelf insert. Rotate the front and rear glass support rails up to remove. Lift up the air duct cover to detach. Use the Phillips head screwdriver or the number two square drive bit to unthread the screws to release the damper cover. Use a putty knife to help pry out the insulation block. Uninstall the damper control assembly by lifting it up and pulling it out of the housing. Depress the retaining tab to disconnect the wire connector. Reinstall or replace the damper control assembly by first connecting the wire connector. Align the damper control assembly in the housing and push down. With the arrow pointing up, reinsert the insulation block. Realign the damper cover and secure it with the screws. Reposition the air duct cover and snap it into place. Replace the front and rear glass shelf support rails. Carefully reposition the glass shelf insert. Replace the crisper drawers by aligning them on the tracks and pushing them closed. Pull both deli drawer side rails out. Reinstall the deli drawer by positioning the rear of the drawer first then pull the rails forward until the drawer locks into place. To access components behind the freezer's rear panel, use a 3 8 inch socket to unthread the screws, securing the front drawer panel to the drawer rails. Set the front drawer panel aside. Lift out the basket. Release the retaining clips and you can slide out the basket frame. Pull out the drawer retaining clips so you can lift out the drawer assembly. Unthread the screw securing the roller support bar. Detach the bar and set it aside. Now unthread the screw securing one of the drawer slide rail assemblies.
pull the assembly forward to detach it. Lift off the air deflector. Next, unthread the three screws securing the evaporator fan cover. Pull the cover off. Remove the screws securing the rear panel. Release the ice maker wire connector from the panel. Pull the panel out, then detach the two grounding wires to fully remove the panel, and you can access the evaporator fan motor, the defrost thermostat, and the defrost heater assembly. When the repair is completed, reinstall the rear panel by first snapping the ice maker wire connector into the slot. Reattach the two grounding wires. Fully reposition the panel, then thread and tighten the screws to secure. Replace the evaporator fan cover and secure it with the screws. Realign the air deflector by inserting the tabs into the top vent slots. Realign the drawer slide rail assembly on the mounting studs and push back. Thread and tighten the screw to secure. Reposition the roller support bar and secure it with the screw. With the slide rails pulled out, Set the drawer assembly on the rails and insert the retaining clips to secure the drawer. Realign the basket frame on the support rails and push back until the frame snaps into place. Pull the frame forward and realign the basket in the frame. Reinstall the front drawer panel by hooking the mounting studs on the front of the drawer rails. Thread and tighten the screws to secure. To access components behind the refrigerator's rear access panel, you will need to shut off the water supply. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw securing the water supply line retainer to the rear panel. Detach the water supply line from the inlet valve. Next, unthread the remaining screws securing the rear access panel. Remove the panel to reach components like the water inlet valve, condenser fan motor, and the inverter board. Once the repair is completed, reposition the rear access panel and secure it with the screws. Reattach the water supply line to the inlet valve. Secure the line to the rear panel with the retainer. Turn the water supply back on. Plug the power cord back in, and your refrigerator should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. 
Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.